Hey, this is Camdon509, and today we're going to explain how the rubber machine works and what it is. The rubber machine is a machine that takes um, nothing except for a small amount of input energy and produces a small, which produces a large amount of rubber and a small amount of industrial graph to biofuel. The way it works is by it has sort of three levels. The outermost level, seen in just a moment here when I can actually get up to it, is made up of a slime spawner using the Soul Shards mod, which will only work in, sl in, no in normally slime spawning chunks, and then this quicksand floor, which kills the slimes and turns them into stray slime balls. Once those stray slime balls reach this level here, they're picked up by this golem, which, if I'd gotten lucky, would currently see a slime ball, but currently it doesn't. And then, once it's picked up by this chest, it gets pumped out by these redstone engines. These redstone engines were supposed to be times that one of them could pull out the amount I need to power this system, power the uh, things down here. Uh, well, I but that doesn't really work. I might need four of them. We'll see. I'll look into it. Anyway, well, they pump that out, and the slime balls are then put into this machine here. This is sort of the third level down here, the most complicated one. The electric furnace takes a slime ball. We were about to see a slime ball, so I'll just wait for it runs the slime ball through the furnace, and out comes the sticky resin, which is then pumped into these centrifuges. Centrifuges produce, once they finish, do I have any that's near finishing? No, I don't, so I'll just tell you about it. Um, they produce one compressed plant ball, one uncompressed plant ball, and 14 rubber. The 14 rubber are then pumped into this barrel here. We currently have a thousand in there. See, 14 rubber, one and one. The the uncompressed plant ball is sent into this compressor here, where it is turned into a compressed plant ball. And the compressed plant ball is sent to this um, pipe here, into into the same place this compressed plant ball is sent into, which turn, which compresses it with an empty cell to create a bio cell. That bio cell is then bio cell. The cells, by the way, are coming from this chest here, which we'll talk about later. That thing is then sent. The bio cell is then sent to this extractor to become a biofuel cell, which burns for 6 keu. These are then distributed evenly by this system here to each of these liquid generators, which slowly pick up more and more bio cells. Only this one actually is the one that's currently building up because of something that's complicated. This fills up this bat box, which powers the whole array. Once a tin cell is done being used, it's actually saved, it's actually outputted from this back into here. Theoretically, if I have too many biofuel cells to fit into this chest, or to fit into all these three things, it'll, it'll wind up being pumped back into this chest so that I don't lose anything. This means the system is self-sustaining. As long as it has tin cells, it slowly builds up more power, and it outputs rubber. That's the rubber machine, and if you liked this episode, make sure to favorite it and subscribe. See you guys next time.